one year and one day. That's how long a Columbus mother has waited for answers and accountability after her daughter died from a fentanyl overdose while in custody at the Franklin County Jail. Well, tonight, 10 TV's Bryant Somerville is pressing the prosecutor's office for answers and reveals new video obtained by 10 TV Investigates. It's been a long road, one that she has traveled the last 366 days. I miss my daughter tremendously. Retha Freeman stands outside the Jackson Pike Jail, the Franklin County Correction Center, where her 29-year-old daughter, Frederica Ford, took her last breath. She should not have to have been exposed to fentanyl while she was incarcerated. Come on up, Ford. Ford, who struggled with addiction, had violated her parole. This newly obtained surveillance video from June 25th, 2021 shows Ford being processed at Jackson Pike intake. A short time later, she was dead. Incarcerated or not, Freeman says a jail should be a safe space. But when they come up under the umbre umbrella of a place where they're supposed to be safe, that's what should be done. In November, the Franklin County Coroner's Office ruled her death an overdose, fentanyl and fluorofentanyl. Ford was the only inmate who died, but the Franklin County Sheriff's Office says a few other inmates who had shared a cell with Ford had to be revived with Narcan. Whoever the intake officers were on the young lady that allegedly bought those drugs in, they didn't do their job. Late last year, the Franklin County Sheriff's Office said the substance found did not come from Ford and that it had reason to believe another female smuggled drugs into the jail. 10 TV has learned in late December the sheriff's office handed an investigation to the Franklin County Prosecutor's Office seeking an 18 count indictment against that inmate. Almost seven months later, no charges have been filed. The prosecutor's office says it cannot comment because it is a matter under internal review. Meanwhile, there's drugs still in there. There's still drug overdoses in there now. Contraband in the Franklin County jails continues to be seen. From 2018 to 2021, the sheriff's office says four inmates have died from overdose. In 2021, I'm told 65 inmates were given Narcan. And already in 2022, that number stands at 10. This place is known as the trap house. You can get in, in jail, but you get on the street. The sheriff's office says measures are in place to limit contraband, like providing inmates with clothes so no one can sneak contraband in the hymns of personal items and providing inmates with photocopies of personal mail so the envelope and paper can't be soaked in a substance. And in the last year, the sheriff's office also purchased and trained two drug sniffing canines for exclusive use inside corrections centers. At the end of the day, my daughter lost her life to shine light on Jackson Pike. A long road traveled, still so much further to go. So if we don't make a stand together to make a change now, We'll be, you'll hear this again in the news. It'll be somebody else's child that then died. And talking with the Franklin County Sheriff's Office this afternoon, I have learned that no deputies faced discipline as a result of the investigation into Ford's death. In Franklin County, Bryant Somerville, 10TV News.